right, welcome back to episode 5 of running a paper mill in Farming Simulator 22 Platinum Edition. Last time we created our second field, we bought the saplings. Uh, we need to clean up. But one thing I would really like to do is also to look into uh, building some sort of uh, shed or machine house for our vehicles. Oh, we have some new ones from the very big. <laughs> uh, of course, they have to be big uh, to fit the forestry machinery. I was also looking into uh, some sort of uh, lumber storage. So I was looking to maybe have a buffer for like when you can see we have too much wood right now. Well, we could fit some of it in the, in the factory already. But I'm sure it will happen again. In the future we'll run into the same issue where we will have too much wood. Need to find a good location for our buildings. So as our factory is up here, we have the road down here. Maybe uh, in the area near the lake here, this area. Maybe it's easier to see from this point of view. So we have the road coming down. Maybe we would have our buildings in this area with a nice view over the lake. All right. First things first, time to clean up the area and get the saplings planted. I also need to get rid of the last five trees we have in the cedar because apparently I, I'm unable to unload it. So I was thinking uh, maybe just see if I can do a row here on the edge. Uh, to empty it out. First of all, let's get the. Can I move this? No, it's too heavy. Let's get this cleaned up. Let's uh, run the time lapse. I will be removing the logs, starting seeding, and then we can work on uh, building placement near the lake.
Okay. So, as you saw, I just rolled the entire field, or both fields, after I um, cleaned it up a bit. And then I just wanted to uh, plant some grass in everything. Because I remember the normally in farming simulator, if you plowed a field and you just leave it, it will be fully grown with uh, weeds this high uh, after some time and grass will only go to maybe this height, right? So it's more a convenience. So I actually rented a, a roller and rolled everything and my intention was then to just, that's why we have the cedar down there, was to uh, actually seed <laughs> with grass. Problem is, I can't see it in December apparently. Uh, grass, well, kind of obvious, but hey, I didn't pay attention to the month. Uh, right now, you can see the trees have no colliders. I'm a bit worried once we move forward, these will have a collider, which means you will not be able to, to drive over them like we do now. We also completed the field up here. Uh, With the, with the planting the new trees, can't remember the name, but we had some leftovers. We placed them down by this the the building, the factory. Again, another reason we need some sort of storage for all our uh, extra tree saplings, our tools, equipment. Uh. So the cedar is over there. I rented it. Uh, and now I'm just gonna leave it there uh, until we can use it. So I'm a bit worried about the rental fee. But let's uh, prepare the next uh, season, well, month growth rate. Uh, so I'll just move this guy up here. And prepare to drag these down to the factory because once we uh, sleep, the factory should have produced a few new pellets and we should be able to actually fit more trees in there. Come on, grab it. There we go. You can see it's full right now, so let's just go to January so every time I sleep uh, in this mode or spend the night like we're doing now that's one month so in January we produced a couple of pellets it's very cold put the tree in let's uh, drag these in as well Not sure it can fit. Let's see. It could. Perfect. But again, we're full. It's really annoying how slippy it is here.
something we could work on in the future, maybe build a better platform or something here. Hopefully, hopefully we'll build a nice platform or extension to the factory. Oh, while we're here, let's grab those two locks down uh, across the field. They are getting in the way, as you can see, you saw before in the time lapse, it was dragging along. <laughs> The roller. Let's see if we can use the dozer to just push it up. Grab them uh, a bit far back. That's why they are like all over the place. It's time to, to look at a building a, a thing. These uh, are really annoying. These not trees, but not bushes in between. <clears throat> so I'm thinking uh, as far back as possible towards the, the lake. Let's go to construction view. So we have plenty of room in the front because I'm still thinking about using this wire system to pull down trees from uh, up here. You can see it's a hill. If we go like this and we want trees down, it would be easier to pull them by wire down here and then pull them into the factory. So ideally our yard would be in this area. So another thing I was thinking about uh, would be nice is maybe using a, a silo, you know, from silage to actually drop the trees in with this machine. Boop! So they stay within the wall. Should be easy to pick up for, for the other machine.
And I think we need to uh, maybe flatten the area a bit before building as well. Flatten or flatten, uh, level it out. Oh, oh, what's wrong? This one uh, is not playing nice. Let's get rid of that on its own. Possibly all the branches. This one is most likely too big. Oh, I was lucky. Very heavy. Shame I can't see how heavy they are when I'm carrying like this. So, it looks heavy. <laughs> oh, there's another one of those uh, annoying uh... I hope it's not those I planted before <laughs> An entire field of. <laughs> oh. Would be fun though. These trees are not collaborating. <laughs> Looks like a mess over there. <coughs> Sorry about that. Alright, I think our building area is uh, is clear. Let's uh, let's have a look. Yes. So now we just need to find out how big of a building we want. So I'm just looking for the expansion. So one of the things they added was this. Uh, half arc times two it's very short or it's not very deep another one was this one way too big production building with solar panels also way too big that's actually the one that's right over there see the same one yeah Mm -hmm. This one is from the Aggie pack. Looks nice. Looks like a novel warehouse. Two side gates 
and then end gate. This could actually be what we want right here. I want to. Maybe like this instead. So you have the big gate opening out towards the factory and then you have the two up towards the big forest. Yeah. Let's uh, see if there are any routes we need to clear. Oh, by the way, I got that floating uh, stop removed we had at the factory. I uh, lifted the terrain a bit so this guy he could get over and then he was actually able to, to completely remove it, which was nice. Area oh, yeah, kind of looks good. Let's try to level it out to this. I'm just gonna park him on the level I want. So, here we go. This level. Construction, landscaping, level, shape, size. Oh, there's a tree stump. Now it's under the ground. Very nice, very nice. It was needed and has been needed for a while now. <laughs> and we can uh, drive the big machinery through that gate. Very nice. <coughs> alright, so next time it's all about uh, making it all look good. So of course the path coming from the factory we need to make sure it's clear, it's marked. Maybe I would like to look into creating a separate path down this way, following the rail down that way. fence next to the rail perhaps. Do something about this slope so it looks more... Well, uh, upfill is fine, we, we do this in real life right when we build, but then we need to uh, at least mark it as uh, upfill. Very good. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know if you have any thoughts on this. If you're buying any farming simulator products, feel free or please use my creator code, partner code link below. I'll see you next time running our wonderful paper factory. Bye bye.